It's the Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pires coming to you from Baltimore. As Turkey becomes more entangled in the war in Syria and now managing the refugee crisis for Europe, less talked about situation in Turkey is the intensifying war on its own Kurdish population. This war against the Kurds have been going on for about a century, but recent developments in the region has enabled the Turkish state to take advantage of it and intensify the war against the Kurds. Joining us now to discuss the Kurdish question in Turkey and the region is Barish Karaj. He is a lecturer in international development studies at Trent University in Ontario. He's also the editor of the book Accumulations, Crises and struggles, capital and labor in contemporary capitalism. Thank you so much for joining us, Barish. Hello, Sharmini. So let's start with first uh, explaining the current moment. There's been some intensification of uh, uh, attacks against the um, Kurdish PKK. Uh, what are they and why is this happening now? About a week ago, uh, President Erdogan gave a speech in which he said this struggle or war against terror will continue until the doomsday. The, this indicates that uh, uh, there will be a significant intensification of tension and violence between uh, say the security, Turkish security forces uh, and uh, Kurdish uh, uh, militants, uh, both in Turkey and outside of uh, Turkey. And the, the interesting thing is that uh, this uh, already uh, the ongoing conflict and the clashes that are actually intensified in the last year came in the aftermath of a, a, a so-called peace process between 2013 and 2015 there was a ceasefire between uh, the, the turkish state and the uh, kurdish uh, militants the pkk and in this period, uh, uh, there were many attempts to find a, a, a peaceful solution, a political solution to this uh, conflict uh, uh, that has cost the lives of more than 40,000 people. But that peace process, or the solution process, so-called, came to an abrupt end following the uh, elections in June uh, 2015, when the pro-Kurdish party uh, HDP uh, gained about 80 uh, seats in Turkish parliament. Since then, we've seen a lot of violence, both in uh, the uh, predominantly Kurdish uh, populated uh, uh, regions within Turkey, but also in uh, major urban centers such as Ankara and Istanbul. Uh, a part of uh, this process of this uh, th this uh, conflict was uh, destruction of entire cities and neighborhoods in Kurdish uh, in the Kurdish uh, region within Turkey. The Turkish military uh, laid siege to uh, towns, and uh, there were curfews in uh, that, that, that that are still uh, in effect which led to the death of uh, hundreds of people as well as immigration from these areas to others of thousands of people and this process is going on and uh, Erdogan's recent uh, the speech indicates that uh, it won't come to an end in the near future because uh, uh, President Tayyip Erdogan sees the Kurdish movement and its political representative the HDP as the greatest obstacle to uh, realizing his uh, goal of bringing an executive presidency to Turkey. And uh, at this political moment with the crisis in Syria, um, the Kurds have been playing a very important role in the region in the fight back against ISIS. Um, give us a sense of what that role is and why is that threatening to Erdogan? Well, well, well uh, recently there's been an offensive uh, by uh, uh, by the Syrian uh, democratic uh, forces uh, that are led by uh, Kurds in uh, northern Syria on the it's a town of uh, Manjib that has been controlled by uh, ISIS fighters. Uh, and uh, the, these forces have captured uh, many villages uh, around the town. Uh, uh, and it, it is quite likely that uh, 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 in the near future they will be able to capture Manjib in order to cut off uh, ISIS uh, supply routes. Uh, 
uh, ISIS uh, uh, route uh, to the outside uh, world. Uh, when we look at the Turkish state's uh, stance towards uh, what has been uh, unfolding uh, over there, uh, Turkey has basically turned a blind eye uh, by this operation that has been supported since the beginning by, by the United States uh, as well, in, in, in addition to uh, France. Uh, the greatest concern of the Turkish state is that Kurds, along with other ethnicities, but above all Kurds, consolidate their political power in northern Syria. And Turkey sees this as an existential threat to its own being. Turkey has been quite clear since the beginning that uh, it considers the uh, uh, PYD, the political uh, the Kurdish party there, and it's a uh, uh, military forces, YPG, as an offshoot of the PKK that it has been uh, fighting for uh, about 40 years, and it's considered them uh, as terrorists. So Turkey wants to have nothing to do with them, and uh, it has not supported uh, the operations or even negotiations that have included uh, northern Syrian Kurds. All right, Barish, this is a good place to pause. And if you're interested in the history of the Kurds in Turkey and their struggle, we're going to continue this discussion in the next segment. Thanks for joining us, Barish. Thank you, Sharmini. And thank you for joining us on the Real News Network.